a team from UC San Diego took home an honorable mention for the Mar Prize, the best paper award at the International Conference of Computer Vision. The first author on this award-winning paper is Man Mohan Chandrakar. He's a PhD student in computer science at UCSD's Jacobs School of Engineering. Man Mohan and his co-authors have created new algorithms that achieve the theoretically best solutions for the auto calibration problem. With auto calibration, using just images of a scene, you can reconstruct the scene in three dimensions. You can also determine the parameters and orientations of the cameras used to take the pictures. Next up, Man Mohan will describe how this research might be used in the future. Okay, uh, suppose you are sitting here in San Diego and you want to navigate through a 3D model of the Taj Mahal. Okay. And, on uh, your computer? On, on my computer. Okay. And all that I can do is uh, go on Flickr or Picasso uh -huh. and download a bunch of photographs of the Taj Mahal. Uh -huh. So now that I have a bunch of photographs, using our algorithm, uh -huh. you can mark out some salient features on the Taj Mahal, like its corners or its straight edges. And using these salient features, you can feed those images into our pipeline. Mm -hmm. And what will pop out is a scaled reconstruction of the Taj Mahal. It is scaled reconstruction 3D of the Taj Mahal yeah. on, in your computer? On my computer. So I can rotate it, I can twist it, I can zoom it, I can focus on any particular feature uh -huh. that I want. So how long would it take you to put together the Taj Mahal? There it depends on the number of views that we have. What we have experimented with are uh, of the order of 50 views. Uh -huh. And there it takes us around 10 to 15 minutes mm -hmm. to do a complete reconstruction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I'm willing to compromise a bit, if I'm willing to say that, okay, I, I do not want 99% guarantee of being at the global minimum, I'm happy with just a 90% guarantee, then the time reduces drastically. Even besides 3D reconstruction, there are several places where uh, we can apply this. We are already looking at applying this to, for instance, face recognition. And we, we have already looked at something called photometric stereo where instead of using multiple cameras you use a single camera and multiple light sources to reconstruct the scene. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of potential follow-up work here and with the movie industry now there is a lot of computer vision in Hollywood. So for instance you have Gollum and mm -hmm. so that is an entirely computer graphics generated object. Mm -hmm. But the movements that computer graphics object makes mm -hmm. are very human-like. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that is what is called a motion capture mm -hmm. technology. Mm -hmm. So motion capture is very big in mm -hmm. computer vision and 3D reconstruction is something where, uh, which can be used to make motion capture faster, more unconstrained. The movie industry is quite interested in the 3D reconstruction problem.